Hey everyone, welcome back to Melissa's Kitchen Table. Today I am going to have a super quick and easy recipe for you. And it's Jack Daniels fudge. So I have one package of, well these are chocolate chunks, but you just need any kind of chocolate, chocolate chips, whatever. You need 12 ounces. And this is only 11. So let me grab another thing of chocolate. Okay, so I'm just going to weigh it because I don't want this to not be right. So that was 11 ounces. I need 12, so I'm going to add one more ounce. That's good enough. So I'm going to microwave this on 30 second intervals, probably like half power. Um, because I don't want this to burn. So I'll show you exactly what that looks like when it's done. Hang on. All right. So in the meantime, over here, I'm going to get the rest of this stuff ready. I'm telling you, this is like so quick and easy. The hardest part is you have to let it sit and cool off and all of that before you could cut it. So that's, that takes a while because that's several hours. And we're going to the party tonight. So hopefully... It's done in time. So I have a two pound, I think I switched those. I have a two pound uh, bag of powdered sugar. Probably should have used a bigger bowl. I thought I got the bigger one. Apparently not. All right, so we got that. And then you're going to use one cup of Jack Daniels because this is Jack Daniels whiskey uh, recipe. I guess you could use another, but I wouldn't, especially with my family. Hang on one second. Okay, Kane was barking at her neighbor. So you just need one cup of Jack Daniels. And the good thing about this recipe is you're not cooking it. So none of <laughs> the alcohol is cooked out. So, of course, this is not a kid-friendly recipe. So you're just going to mix this all together. All right, just keep mixing this. And I'm going to check on the chocolate, and we'll be right back. Okay, so this is nice and melted. Now, the only, I mean, this is such a simple and easy recipe. The only tip I would have would be to make sure that you melt the chocolate slow and low, because you don't want it to burn. And... Make sure you mix the Jack Daniels into the powdered sugar. Don't mix it into the chocolate and don't mix it into the powdered sugar with the chocolate at the same time because the liquid can um, ruin the chocolate. But once it's mixed into the powdered sugar like that, it should not have any problems. Um, also with the chocolate, um, Use whatever kind you like. You can use milk chocolate. What did I use? Oh, I think we did use milk and a little bit of semi-sweet. Um, but the, uh, obviously the powdered sugar is like super sweet. So you don't have to worry, like even if you use a dark chocolate. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think what else. The other thing I had wanted to try but I know my husband fam husband's family really likes Jack Daniels, is I wanted to do the same thing, but use white chocolate. And instead of the Jack Daniels, I wanted um, to try the Fireball. Or you could use um, Jack Daniels Fire also. But that fireball is a nice one that you could do for like Christmas time and 
mix um, some red in there. All right, so I'm just gonna finish mixing this and I'll uh, show you what I do with it. All right, so because I'm taking this somewhere, I'm using a tin foil pan. I think it's a, what is it? I don't know, nine by 13, let me see. Yeah. Well, use whatever pan you have. I don't have a measuring tape. I would have measured it for you. But I like to put some par um, cute parchment paper or saran wrap so it's a lot easier to get out. And let me tell you, this stuff is thick and heavy. Like, no joke. All right. So we want to spread that out and normally I would just use that, but you got to work with it quick because once it starts setting up, it's really hard. So, see, it's already hard. You're going to want to push it out. If that happens and it's not in this pan, you could just throw it back, put it in the bowl, and throw it back in the microwave. But I'm gonna get it. So yeah, here's another tip. Work really quick with this. All right, so I'm just going to use my hands to press it out. And then I'm gonna let this sit in the fridge for at least four hours and cut it. And I will show you guys what it looks like when it's all cut. You can add nuts to this. You could put nuts on the top, mix it in, however you wanna do it. It's up to you. All right guys, so I'm gonna enter, I will enter a picture in here of what it looks like once it's all done, cut and everything. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and share, and I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye.